During the Great Depression, poverty and despair was spreading like an infection. Until F.D. Roosevelt, the current president at the time, devised the Federal Art Project. The art and imagination generated by the workers restored hope across the nation. The Great Depression was one of the worst economical failures in the history of industrialized world. The Great Depression occurred when banks across the nation were not able to back up the money they were loaning out. This was the stock market crash. However, this wasn't the only thing that caused the Great Depression to be the tragedy we know of today. The stock market was always going to go up so they could buy the stocks and sell them for more than they paid for them. And the crash uh, eliminated that possibility. So um, a lot of people argue about whether the um, uh, depression would have recovered on its own without government intervention. I don't agree with that. Um, there was 25% unemployment. A quarter of all the people that could work did not have jobs in 1933 when President Roosevelt took office and started these um, work projects, work programs, including the WPA, of which the Federal Arts Project was a, was a piece. All of this created an unbalanced economy that continued to keep untying until the recession turned into a depression. When the Great Depression was at its lowest point, about 15 million Americans were unemployed. In the novel American Made, written by Nick Taylor, the text states, Each day, hope flaked away like layers of old paint. By 1932, more than 3,600 banks had closed, and one worker in five was out of work. But, for all the physical suffering, the greatest loss was to the spirit. People were sick malnourished, wild, homeless, but most of all, unhappy. The hope that had once danced in their hearts had faded, and suddenly, life became a burden. In response to this national crisis, F.D. Roosevelt devised a plan, the New Deal. This is about to pass legislation that will greatly ease the mortgage distress among the farmers and among the homeowners of the nation by providing for the easing of the burden of debt that now bears so heavily upon millions of our people. Well-considered and conservative measures will likewise be proposed within a few days that will attempt to give to the industrial workers of the country a more fair wage return to prevent cutthroat competition, to prevent unduly long hours for labor, and at the same time to encourage each industry to prevent overproduction. This was the New Deal. One specific program that was part of the New Deal was the Works Progress Administration, most commonly known as the WPA. The WPA included programs such as the Federal Art Project, which was directed by Holger Cahill, a former museum curator and historian. The Federal Art Project was nicknamed Federal One and was created to employ artists so that they could craft murals, paintings, sculptures, posters, and photography that would hopefully show citizens that happiness still existed. However, Many people continue to ask, why the arts? Shouldn't time be spent working on how to put the puzzle of balance back together? FDR knew that during these desperate times, it was important to give people food, clothes, and shelter, but also to restore the spirit and create, as he called it, a more abundant life. The resources for art in America depend upon the creative experience stored up in its art traditions, upon the knowledge and talent of its living artists and the opportunities provided for them, but most of all, upon opportunities provided for the people as a whole 
to participate in the experience of art. Walking, um, you know, why would you put a first-rate violinist to work building a road when you could give people pleasure by uh, from hearing that person play the violin? Yeah. Uh, and all the people in an orchestra, for example, um, you would want to give people the educational experience and the pleasure of hearing the music or the pleasure of seeing and enjoying the art that was created. So why would you put those people to work building roads? There were plenty of people out of work and uh, plenty of people to build roads and repair roads and build sidewalks and build bridges and build do all the physical construction that was required. Um, and so uh, why wouldn't you invest money in the arts, um, support artists doing what they did best, um, support art teachers who could take the arts to other people and um it was it was just a it was an impulse that i think was just a, a wonderful impulse why would you not let people do what they were best at doing mm -hmm. um when they could give pleasure and information and education to other people um just to build you know another road Another ever-debatable statement that still lingers in heated air is that the Federal Art Project wasn't important, that the project didn't contribute anything to the Great Depression. It was just another WPA project. The WPA spent millions of dollars on funding each project, and the Federal Art Project was just a small 1% of it. However, many could argue differently. The end project resulted in about 200,000 works of art. It commissioned around 10,000 artists and employed 5,000. The Federal Art Project also developed a large community by establishing over 100 art galleries across the nation, especially in parts where art was scarce. It was far more successful and influential than other programs. The Federal Art Project commissioned individuals with a very wide range of skill, talent, and ability. The style of one painting would be completely the opposite of the one next to it. However, out of all these things, the most important was that the Federal Art Project restored hope. When people saw the devotion the artists had put into their artwork, the citizens were shown hope. The Federal Art Project's art restored the missing hope and began to clear a new path to building a stronger nation. Thank you.